everyone, my name is Liu Jingli. I come from China, Zhejiang Province People's Hospital. You can see this is our hospital. Today I will share an interesting case for you. That the title is a typical presentation of a signing response mega breast anemia in a Chinese baby boy. This is a 10 month old boy who was admitted to our hospital with the parents complained of the pressure on both low and extremity for two weeks. Let me have a look at it. The laboratory result. You can see the hemoglobin is 55, it's lower. MCV is normal, but the platelet is lower, and the blood glucose is higher. Therefore, the anemia, thrombocytopenia, and the diabetes were diagnosed. Let me have a look at the peripheral blood smear. You can see that the schistocytes, ellipsocytes, small and large eulocytes with hypochromic. Because this baby boy has a normal MCV value, so the non hemolytic and hemolytic anemia should be considered. But this baby boy has a higher reducible count. Therefore, these diseases with normal reducible count were excluded, including a plastic anemia, anemia of clot disease, chronic kidney disease, and iron deficiency. So, the hemolytic anemia, including intrinsic and extrinsic anemia, should be considered, including erasal memory defect, erasal enzyme deficiency, and hemoglobin defect, and proximal non-turner hemoglobinemia and 6 cell anemia should be considered. Also, extrinsic, including autoimmune disease, micro and micro angiopathic disease, also the infection should be considered. Next, the common anemia laboratory test were audited and examined, but they were all negative, including ferritin, E12, folic acid, and other hemolytic disease, hand test and corpus disease, also CD55, were all normal. Additionally, hemoglobin electrophoresis were negative. Diabetes including the blood glucose and the fasting insulin and C-tablet were all confirmed the diabetes for this baby boy. However, the type 1 diabetes associated antibody for this baby boy were all negative, exclude the type 1 diabetes. Additionally, anti-nuclear antibody for the other diseases were negative and the plated antibody were negative. Lastly, another rare disease, rare disease test were all Negative. So the cause of anemia and thrombocytopenia for this baby boy is still part of us. Let me take the hormonal smear. You can see that the erythrocyte is relatively large, and these two microblasts were relatively large. Therefore, Therefore, the megaplast anemia was considered on this normal MCV and high IW sample. Together with diabetes on this baby boy, semi responsive megaplast anemia was considered, although this disease was very rare and MCV was normal on this baby boy. But further, the whole exome sequence identified this gene mutation confirmed the TRNA. Sami responsive for microblast anemia. You can see that the patient, uh, his father and his mother had this gene mutation. Confirm that this disease. This is an amazing picture. You can see that after five months of oral semi treatment, all the laboratory results return to normal, including the hemoglobin, RDW, reduced site, platelet, and blood glucose. In other words, that Anemia and thrombocytopenia and the blood glucose for the diabetes were all returned to normal. This boy is cured. Simply oral semi treatment for five months. Let's remember this interesting case and take some home messaging. MCV is useless on this ancestral title sample for anemia evacuation. This boy, this baby boy has normal MCV. Initially confused us, but the hormonal smear for the large erythrocyte and the relatively large microblasters promote us to consider microblast anemia. 
And finally, the gene mutation confirms this disease. TRMA, some response to microblastinemia includes three main symptoms. Microblastinemia, diabetes, and deafness. Because this baby boy is too young, he cannot tell his parents that he had kidney losses. So let's remember these three main symptoms. Microblastinemia, diabetes, and deafness. Sometimes, in this case, it has normal value, MCV value. Microblastinemia developed as a result of an impaired nuclear acid synthesis due to the intracellular semi deficiency in resource cell, so result in the microblastinemia. This is only one case we can share to you. We have so many cases in our cytology report, cytology department, and we mainly focus on hematology. We have so many interesting cases for you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you.